Questions of church and state loom large on the American scene, particularly in this election year. This Sunday we hear, on the 29th Sunday of Ordinary Time, we hear from Matthew how Jesus is questioned by the Pharisees and where his ultimate allegiance lies and where it resides. We also hear in the first reading from Isaiah how Cyprus, who is a non-Jewish king, reestablishes the Jewish people in their homeland, rebuilds the temple, and is almost held up as a king for them, although they have Yahweh, the ultimate king. The word used is anointed, where we get Christos from, the Christ. So both the anointed, which is the Messiah, and Christos, the Christ, are used for Cyrus as an example of someone who reestablishes the will of God in culture. In Thessalonians, we hear about Paul writing to the community, talking about where their ultimate allegiance goes to. But most especially in Matthew, we hear about how Jesus is asked on where his allegiance is. And the question and the answer is obviously very clear. For Christ, his allegiance is always to the will of God and that gospel message in which he proclaims at all times. He continues to use that. So here, when he's asked a question by the Pharisees, he thwarts their question by turning it on them and asking them a simple question about ownership of a coin. Whose head is on it? And I think that's a good example for us as Christians here in our society today as we move forward during this election year. There is no reason why a Christian cannot be a good politician. There's no reason why a Christian cannot be a good citizen. Our ultimate citizenship ultimately resides obviously in the city, the city of God, but we also participate in civil structure. We are pay our taxes, we follow just and moral laws, and we're engaged in the political process in a healthy way, always going with our conscience and the Word of God. Just like Jesus in uh, Matthew, where he turns the, turns the question on to the Pharisees because he knows they're being inauthentic, we are called to do the same thing, to always follow our conscience, a well-formed conscience, so that we can maintain, ultimately, good citizenship, but in the long run, ultimately as well, citizenship in the city of God.